Okay, family. You guys are not gonna believe this shit. Real shit. You ready for this? It is actually 3.50 in the a.m. Yeah, it is 3 o'clock in the morning, going on 4 o'clock. Now, short story before I get back on to part two of this thing right here. I had some, um, hold on. I had some work that I had to get done, and I for completely, you know, I forgot that I had to, you know, put some inserts in it. And so I had to amend some things. And, I, and at first, I, I was like, okay, I knew I was supposed to have emailed it in, you know, by a certain time. And so, but then I forgot that I had, you know, said, okay, well, I'm going to go back. When I proofread it, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make the corrections before I send it. I completely, you know, anyway, that lets you know I've been having all kind of shit going on. So in the midst of that, I had to upload some videos that were still backlogged up in my, in my camera and things of that nature. So I was multitasking and now I'm back on. So Thursday today is going to be a resting day for me. I'm going to kick back. I'm going to rest. I'm going to get up, probably put some chicken on to make a little chicken enchiladas or whatever. I'm going to put that on slow and I'm going to take me a proper ass nap. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut my shit off, cut my phone off and all that, cut the alarm on. My dog's going to let me know if a motherfucking intruder is close. You know what I mean? And uh, nigga, I'm going to sleep. Okay. But uh, let me um, get in on, um, back on this right here. And I think the last thing we talked about was assets and life. Excuse me, assets and liabilities. Excuse me. Y'all know I'll be having gurgles and bubbles. You know, I got digestion problems. Excuse me. I'm getting a little sleepy too. Can you tell? Alright, let's go. You ready? Fuck it. Nigga, this is what I do. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead on, jump in the character and get it on like how y'all, of course, gonna be expecting it to be. So anyway, let's go on and get up in this right here. Shall what we shall. Now, Raymond, uh, Stanley, Charles, Billy, Otis, Tyrell. I'm going to need all y'all to follow. Vicky, Darlene, uh, Shonda, uh, uh, Shanice, and all them. Follow them on out the door because we ain't got time. We This ain't your thing. It, I understand. It's no problem. You in a room full of motherfuckers that's on some other shit anyway. It's no problem. See, we, we you know what I'm saying? We, we funny motherfuckers anyway. So we got a certain sense of humor like that. And it's okay if you ain't got that. You know, you're a little bit more serious, a little bit more conservative. So it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You can go ahead on and exit out. You know what I mean? But don't worry. On my channel, I do a variety of things. I do all kinds of shit. That's what I do. You know, I do arts and crafts and cooking and, you know what I'm saying, all kind of different things. So, this ain't your soup. It's okay, boo. You can go ahead on exit. And uh, all the rest of y'all raggedy ass niggas that come in here and like to get fucked up like me, come on back up in this motherfucker, baby. We all some raggedy motherfuckers. Come on back up in this motherfucker. Yeah, all of us. Let's go. Let's get this back up in here right here and do this thing. You ready? Okay, here we go. All right. Now, um... Okay, so we were talking about assets and liabilities, right? Okay, so then that was number 12. Okay, now number 13. If you wait on them to get any lump sum check, i.e. SSI check, a lawsuit settlement, a retirement check, lottery earnings, I mean lottery winnings, or an exit interview payout. Okay, so if you basically is what... Now, also, let me also say this. This goes for men and women. I don't want brothers to just think, oh, well, you just be talking about the brothers like we ain't shit. No, what about the bitches? Bitches ain't shit neither. Uh, you're right. Yeah, there's some truth to that. You're absolutely correct. So, I'm not I'm not just talking about the fellas on this right here. I'm talking about chicks too, okay? You know, so, hey, you know what I'm saying? We got it bad like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Girl, that motherfucker, see, that nigga applied for us as a side nigga three years back, nigga. They finna get this nigga love son from the time that nigga motherfucking enrolled in this shit, nigga. Motherfucker, get this money. 
bitch. What? Yeah. I need me four bundles, bitch. Four motherfucking bundles, nigga. Yeah. All that old type of shit. Y'all know how we do it. You know what I mean? That's, you know, hey. You know, I can't just be talking about the brothers all the time because we some raggedy motherfuckers too. We do some crazy shit too. You know what I mean? So, okay, so then there it is right there. You got that on that? The motherfucker waiting on your money. Uh, nigga, that ain't bliss. That ain't even cool. You need to cut that motherfucker loose. That motherfucker's just on a ride. You know what I mean? This motherfucker on a come up. You know what I'm saying? Getting while getting this good ass nigga. You don't want that. What you want to be bothered with that shit for? You know, even this bitch right here. She can't cook nothing. This bitch want to keep giving you motherfucking grilled cheese sandwiches and shit. No, what, what, what? Hold on, mama. Uh, can we get some meatloaf in this motherfucker? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't be going out to eat all the motherfucking time and expecting this nigga to pay every time. Surprise that nigga, cook that nigga, make that nigga some garlic cheese toast and shit. You know what I'm saying? To go on the side of this motherfucking uh, spaghetti and all this other shit you done made this motherfucker. You know what I mean? You got to come in there and show the wildest motherfucker sometimes. Niggas want to be, they want to be uh, uh on some old... You know, on the other end of some old chivalry type shit, too. Them niggas want to be felt like they loved and they want their head and shit rubbed and baby, how was your day and all that old time. They want all that shit, too. You know, the shit that we be wanting, they want it, too. So then, therefore, there's some equal opportunity shit. We're not just going to, I'm just not going to just come on this motherfucker and just going to talk bad about them motherfuckers all the time. Now, do they do shit? Yeah, we all know that they do shit, but we do shit, too. You know what I mean? So the shit kind of go both ways. We got to keep it 100. Okay, now, okay, now, okay, number 14, if you only with them because they keeping the kids, now, see, first of all, it's, you know what, I have seen a lot of this motherfucking shit right here, boy, this nigga right here getting the child care, the child care check and shit, do they still do that shit anymore? I don't know if they still do the, 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 um, the child care check, see, out here in California, you know, the baby daddies, a lot of motherfuckers that was, you know, the baby daddy shit, chicks was putting them niggas on their cases as, the, you know, as a child care provider. And they was double dipping, you know what I'm saying, getting money on the back end, you know what I'm saying, of social services by, you know, saying that this motherfucker right here was keeping the kids or whatever. That's, you know what I'm saying, nigga, that's crazy, right? But that's some real shit, though, and that didn't happen a lot. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no shit I done made the fuck up on. You know what I mean? This is some real motherfucking shit. Like, real shit. You know, and even on, on the shit is on, when the shit is on motherfucking reverse and shit. You know, if she the one, all she doing is keeping the motherfucking kids, but hell, you come home and the house is fucked up. I mean, damn, kids do take naps and shit, and the motherfuckers do go to school. They can sit in front of the TV for a little while and watch Doc McStuffin and all that old type of shit. Nigga, if you don't wash them goddamn dishes and shit, why is he this nigga coming home in his bathroom nasty? That don't make no sense to me. I mean, it just doesn't. Now, I've I've been home more than I've ever worked in my life. You know, as far as working on a job, I've been a housewife most of my life. You know what I'm saying? I've had jobs, yes. I've worked in the nursing field and different shit like that there. And then, you know, that now I actually freelance from home and I do what I do from home. But there was times when, you know, I was at home. I was a housewife, goddammit. But, hell, I was starting dinner and shit. When Oprah came on at 3 o'clock, nigga, I was just getting up, nigga. Frying motherfucking chicken and shit. You know what I'm saying? Greens and shit been put on since early this morning. Motherfucker come home, he got butter beans, hot water, cornbread, pork chops on the side. Yeah. Shit, strawberry shortcake and shit. Yeah. All kind of old shit. Cool whip and shit all up. Hey, look. I know, I, I knew what I was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And to this motherfucking day, that nigga can't never say she didn't take care of me and my goddamn kid. That can never come out of his motherfucking mouth. That's one thing that he can't never trump me on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you know, she was, you know, this motherfucker kept a nasty home. Now, see, you ain't going to be able to say that about me. So, ladies, for those of you guys that's at home and you keeping the kids and shit, yeah, that is a job because it is a job. To raise some kids, nigga, that is no off days. You don't get no employee in a motherfucking month. You don't get no raise. You get no pay, really. But what you do get is this motherfucking handprint that they going to make out of clay. Yeah, for Mother's Day, they do that and shit like that. They make this hand out of clay, put their little name and shit on it, put the year on it. You know what I'm saying? They make ornaments for Christmas time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those are, that is your pay. 
That is your reward. And when the kids grow up and grow out, that is our reward. You know what I'm saying? To see them walk across the uh, across the stage, them motherfuckers are actually graduate with their class and shit. You know what I'm saying? That means some shit to us as mamas, you know? So men don't hate on that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he always up on his mama all the motherfucking time. Well, hell, she the one that's around all the goddamn time. Just because you got a job, just don't mean, oh, okay, so now that you done came home, then therefore now you don't want to be bothered with nobody, nigga. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Because just like she, you been working all day, she been working all motherfucking day too. You know what I'm saying? Especially if she really keeping house. If she's really keeping house, raising kids, all helping do homework and all that old type of shit. Nigga, I was on Pokemon. Nigga, I was on all kind of Bear in the Blick Blue House and nigga, Telly Tubby and all them motherfuckers. Nigga, Barney, all them motherfuckers. You understand me? Nigga, I had them jams rolling in my... Aerostar van, don't don't fuck with it. Nigga, my Aerostar van, nigga, I was rolling on that shit. Nursery rhymes and shit like that there. When my kids was all sitting in car seats and shit in the back. Oh, yeah, we was listening to that kind of shit, nigga. That's how, you know, I, I, I put certain things, you know, in their, in, in their listening ear that I wanted them to pick up on. So we would, we would sing and dance different things like, you know, the ABCs and whatnot. Yeah, I was all in. On the mama thing, nigga, I was all in. My kids can't turn around and say, you know, you never gave a fuck about us. You was always in the room, and you know what I'm saying? You was had niggas coming in out the door. I don't know who my daddy was. Yeah, that won't be me. I won't be on Cunningham about mine. You understand me? I'm just going to go take it. I was all in, still all in. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then, too, let me just say this, too. You know, just because... Um, you come of age and you become parents. Everybody ain't meant to be parents. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers really suck at it. You know what I'm saying? Some are really good at it and some less just not they suit, you know? And it's unfortunate that, you know, the grandparents are the ones that take up the slack because the grandparents are the ones that have to end up taking care of these kids because the, the mamas and the daddies and shit ain't really stepping up to the plate and doing what the fuck they need to do. Now you down there buying play pens and motherfucking swings and shit, and motherfucking sippy cups and goddamn nook, nook nipples and motherfucking bottles and shit by every yacht and all that old type of shit. Yeah, that's what happens, you understand? You know? Hey, it is what it is. It's the times that we live in. Okay. Number uh, 15. Because the sex is bomb and that's it. Now, that will make you fuck with a nigga for a long period of time when the sex is good. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go ahead and raise my motherfucking hand on this for right here. Nigga, that don't mean this shit is bliss. It's just bliss for a moment after you done came and all of that type of shit. You cupcake it a little bit, motherfucker, all just on your back and shit. You know what I'm saying? And shortly after that, it's like, uh, nigga, what you about to do? Shit, yeah. Shit, I forgot. I got some other shit. I, damn, I got some shit I got to get done. I, and I got a deadline to meet. Yeah, that's my shit. I got a deadline to meet. Am I telling too much? Oh, well, I don't know. I already said it already. Shit. Um, I got some things that I got to get done right now. Mm. So, you know, that's not, I don't think that that's uh, something that'll make you just want to stay because sex ain't going to keep the bills paid. You know what I'm saying? Sex ain't going to. You know what I'm saying? Gonna help you get through no argument real tough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Communica excuse me. Communication will. And if all y'all can communicate on is how, you know what I'm saying? How y'all, you know, compatible and fucking, nigga. That ain't, that ain't really where it's at. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, while I'm sitting up here raising my motherfucking hand looking crazy as fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you ain't hot, nigga. That ain't the shit, nigga. Uh, I'm saying what y'all saying to me. You know what I mean? I realize that. I recognize it, too. But, hell, a woman got knees and the flesh get weak. You understand what I'm saying? God damn, the flesh get weak. You could be an independent motherfucker. Now, let me go and say this right now and get it over with. The more shit you have, ladies, and uh, the more you find yourself by yourself, you can have a whole bunch of shit if you want to, nigga. You buy yourself like a motherfucker. Because niggas is like, oh, well, sh I don't know. Some niggas really get intimidated by that shit. You know what I mean? And then to your mouth be so big because you used to hell in your own shop. You know, motherfuckers can't really deal with that. Either. Like, if you, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? But 
it also takes a certain type of man that can make you shut the fuck up. When you feel, listen, <clears throat> hold on, let me go ahead and pull this up out of this right here so I can get comfortable. Look like, my, you know what I'm saying? Look, something was grabbing at something, you know what I mean? Was fucking me up. I was trying to hold on with it, but I was like, damn, nigga, motherfucking lady or something on this motherfucking gene material fucking me up, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, but let me say this. Any, what was I on? What was we on? Damn, I'm sleepy, y'all. Hold on. We was talking about, okay, the sex is bomb. Wait a minute. I done lost my way. I done lost my way. Ain't that a bitch? Damn, I straight lost my way. Damn, I lost my way. And I know y'all hollering, girl, you was on this right here. And you was on this right here. Man, I, I really believed that it was about the sex thing or what? Y'all, I'm sleepy. I'm tired as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But for the love of y'all, I came back on this motherfucker. Had to do it. Because I was like, you know what? I know they sitting up here like, God damn, where's part two? Where's the close of this motherfucker? How you just going to leave us out here? I thought you was my dog. You supposed to come out here. You supposed to finish the, the rest. It is 4.06 in the a.m. family. For the love of y'all asses. I'm tired as fuck. Bitch supposed to been sleep. You understand me? Supposed to have been sleep. Here the motherfucking homecoming weekend. I got shit to do for my kids to get them together for their little homecoming and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm still up up at 4, four o'clock in the motherfucking morning at dark a.m. Fucking with y'all. Okay? But anyway, I, I don't know where I was. Hopefully it'll come back to me. I don't know. I'm fucked up right now. I'm tired. Okay? Because uh, I know we was talking about the, the sex is bomb. But, you know... I don't know. The flesh get weak. You know what I'm saying? I, I have to be the first one to say that shit. But hell, in my defense, I am also single. Oh, I was talking about you can have a whole bunch of shit. And they, you know, when you have a whole bunch of shit, you be canceling niggas out. Yes. Ladies, look. I'm telling you, you can be independent if you want to. You can have the best of everything. You know, and all that kind of stuff. Look a particular kind of way. Niggas don't really want to fuck with you because niggas is thinking, okay, well, you know, you a little bit too high post, she a little bit high maintenance, you know, this bitch right here don't know how to shut up, you know, all kinds of things that I go through. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. Now, you know, for me to come onto this platform, there's there's pluses and minuses and there's, bit, there, there's bonuses and there's a gang of takeaways for me to come on here and to share my life, to share my world, to speak the truth about the things as, as I know it. You know, there's always a little backlash on it. Like this right here. I know it's a lot of motherfuckers really feeling a particular kind of way. This bitch is mad right now. Oh, that bitch is talking about me. She knows she's talking about me. That bitch talking about I'm not talking about you, boo. Calm down. See, it's your own motherfucking paranoia because you know your shit ain't bliss. But, you know, it's your own motherfucking paranoia. I don't even know you, boo. I don't even know you. I don't know you personally. We ain't never even talking on the phone. No nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know absolutely nothing about you. But automatically, somebody gonna automatically assume, you know what, bitch, this is a dead hit on my ass. And she knows she talking about me. I'm not. I'm talking a lot about my shit. I done been through a whole bunch of motherfucking shit. Okay? I done done a whole bunch of dumb shit, stupid shit. Some I made some smart moves, some boss ass ones too. But I've also done a lot of dumb shit too. And I was also not knowing. I was naive on a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, you know, I done been had, been took, all kind of, man, look, mm. and to still be here 44 motherfucking years old, bitch, you better, hey, look, check this out, I do what I want to do, and that's what fucks it up, you know, when, 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 you know, you, when that is the case, a lot of dudes don't really, you know, now, unless you fucking with a dude that have a whole lot, men that have a whole lot, they're not really intimidated by you. They actually be rather intrigued. They like, damn, how you do all this? You know, like some of my male friends that have a whole lot that I talk to or whatever. And, you know, like Mr. Malibu. Them motherfuckers, they actually, you know, we become the best of friends. Because they like really intrigued to the fact like, how do you juggle all this shit? How do you juggle all this shit still and still be having fun? Still be funny as fuck? Still be, you know, on some other shit? How do you do it? Well, you know, I think it's really by the grace of God, and we're going to give him the glory on that, because 
I think um, my personality and, and the person that I am is because of the person that I once was, you know, and it brought me to this place and me being funny, I don't come on me on, on this motherfucker and just, I'm just going to be funny today. No, that's just the way shit comes out because it's just my personality and it's just a natural for me. You know, you can always see a motherfucker that's trying to be funny. They should be corny to the motherfuckers. Like, bitch, you can't even cuss right. If you don't knock it off, it, it is definitely a art to cussing. Everybody can't cuss. And that's why it's, uh, it's more of like a freedom of expression. Like, some people actually take it, you know, really the heart. Motherfuckers be feeling it with your way because you cuss. Because I cuss, okay? Motherfuckers will automatically assume, nigga, you uneducated, you dumb, you stupid, you from the streets, you hood, you this, you that. I wouldn't have what I have, boo, if I was a dumb motherfucker. Let's just go on and be clear on that. And now we're going to get back to this list, okay? Now, um, number 16, if your or they mama can't stand your ass, okay, that ain't bliss. Because I'm going to tell you why. Regardless to the fact of whether or not you and your mama got a real good relationship or you got a, you know, half-ass decent relationship with his mama and she sometimes like you only when y'all want to bingo or whatever, you know what I'm saying, or when you able to loan her a little money or do her hair and then that's when she cool with you when you, you know what I'm saying, you feeding her or whatever. You know, it'll be all kind of shit that mamas do, you know what I'm saying, because I know my mama, you know, she was one of them, you know what I'm saying, she, she... I can I can see her put my sister in law through a lot of things. You know what I mean? That this was my mama's first born son and she felt a particular kind of way about him, you know. And so she was like, Shit, ain't no just no anybody gonna come on up in this motherfucker and just gonna take my baby, you know. So I could see that too, especially with my firstborn and with third, you know what I'm saying? It's like she third right now, you know what I'm saying? He really into girls and things. Going to the motherfucking this nigga's a motherfucking freshman. How about he going to the uh, motherfucking homecoming dance with 11th grade? I said, nigga, if you don't sit your ass down right now, nigga, you in the ninth grade, but let him tell his shit. This nigga think he balling out of control. He popping this right here, you know what I'm saying? He swagged out. Whatever. You know, anyway, let's get back to this list. But mama's knows best, though. You know what I'm saying? And though sometimes we could be overbearing and things of that nature feel like nobody's good enough for our children, but it's just a mama's thing, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, a lot of times, let me say, you know, mama's intuition is cold. And if mama sees something that ain't right with that motherfucker, um, listen, and you already know mama ain't really looking at him for herself, you know what I'm saying? She ain't got no reason to do that. Then therefore, it might be some truth to what she's saying. She could see something on that nigga that you don't see. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, she's not looking at him for the, the, from the same set of eyes that you're looking at him. You know? And just like from a man to just like on, um, on the, the game thing. You know what I'm saying? He brought his mom and his grandmom and him over there to come peek these chicks out or whatever. You know, I don't look at it him as him, no mama's boy, nothing like that. But mama's just going to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's out of love and shit. They're going to tell you the truth, man. It is what it is, you know. I don't see too much shit really working out if y'all motherfucking asses, you know, if the mamas ain't really, you know what I'm saying, ain't really receptive to who you fucking with, you know, nigga, that's some demise shit, you know what I'm saying? Because, I don't know, just my opinion, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I'm, I'm entitled to my opinion, you know what I mean? To each his own, you know what I'm saying? Don't charge me with it, you know? But this is just a poll amongst me and my girls. And some of this is my belief. Some of it is theirs. But hey, this is just what we talked about. And I'm simply sharing it with y'all. Don't take this on person. I know motherfuckers is hot as a motherfucker. Mad. Nigga, I'm for the thumbs down this bitch's shit for a whole six weeks. I don't give a fuck what that bitch put out. Fuck you, bitch. Bop. Yeah, you said some shit about me. Bop. I didn't. You just taking it that 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 serious, okay? Now, uh, if you seriously can't stand them, that's gonna be number seventeen. If you seriously can't stand this motherfucker, and the only reason why you with this motherfucker is because you pity them, you with them for the money, you with them for the kids, you with them for something. There's a reason why you're with them. 
but you can't stand their ways. You constantly trying to change them. You constantly trying to rearrange them motherfuckers. You constantly trying to dust them off and all that shit. Then why are you with them? You're settling right now. This ain't really who the fuck you really want to be with. This is just a right now motherfucker. You know what I mean? Then say it's so. If it's just some right now shit, y'all niggas is just having fun. And just say, you know, we having fun. We having fun. Okay? We having fun. Okay. Okay, number 18. If they lie more than tell the truth. Nigga, I just got to say, that's one motherfucker. That's Chris Brown possibly banned from Australia. The news is on. I let you know. It's 415. Okay? But if this motherfucker lie more than tell the truth, which is number 18. Nigga, that's one thing I can't stand. I cannot stand no liar. Oh, my God. If I catch you in a lie, I'm looking at you now a total different way. You know what I'm saying? Because when I meet niggas, they be constantly going to tell me, okay, well, I got a boat, and uh, I got this right here, and I got that, and yeah, and I've been working for Pepsi for 13 years, and you know what I'm saying? Niggas be really gassing that shit up. They put a little extra 10 on them, too. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they, they put a dub on it. You know what I'm saying? They put a little extra... You know, a little extra on the back end sometime, you know. Oh, I make $85,000 a year, motherfucker. No, we make it 23, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? Women do the same thing, too, sometimes. So, you know, but if they, if what they have ain't matching up, you know, regardless to what a motherfucker say, let's just go and say this right now. Regardless to what a motherfucker say they got, what they do, this, that, this, that, 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 that. They, they shit is going to show it. It's going to show. So you can let a motherfucker tell you all this shit all, oh, well, I'm working with this and I'm doing that and this and this and this. Hell, after a while, the shit is going to reveal itself, ain't it? Or not? The shit is going to come out, so just be patient with it. But once you find out that this motherfucker is on some falsifying shit, then nigga, at that point in time, it's like, nigga, I don't know. What you really... What you covering up and shit, nigga? Who you hiding from? What you, what's going on? Because like I said a dozen times, grown folks ain't got no reason to lie. We don't get in trouble. Kids get in trouble. So it's like, okay, you stand accountable for your motherfucking action. What the fuck is you lying for? I just don't see no future in it. I don't know. I just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think motherfuckers be lying out of fear. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. But that's just not cool. Number 19. There's no religion compatibility. Now that's, that, that's, that's a big one right there. Now you can't be Jehovah Witness and your girl is a Christian. It's going to be a push and pull constantly because she going to want to do Christmas and all that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? She going to want to... You know, she gonna wanna, you know, uh, you know, enjoy some holidays and shit. And and if that ain't your thing, then therefore, okay, now if y'all fuck around and have some kids in it, then therefore you gonna have your way in which you're doing things and she gonna have her way in which you're doing things. And y'all could be cool on everything else, but the religion ain't clicking. Nigga, it ain't clicking. I'm just saying, it can't be bliss. I'm just talking about on some long-term shit. Now, if we talking short-term shit, okay, now, you know what, we good on everything else, but you know what, out of that whole list, we fucking up about four or five of them motherfuckers. Okay, now, first of all, nobody's perfect. Let's be clear on that. There's no walking perfect people. There's not. We're all sinners. I'm one of them motherfuckers, okay? So, with that said, you have to find a way to... At least, if you're going to be with this person, accept them for who they are or do a moving after that. Or just have some fun. we just going to have some fun. we together. When we together, we just going to have some fun. We're going to kick it. We're going to do this right here. But when that is the case, you can't put no stipulations on that motherfucker. Just like they can't put no stipulations on you. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that, like, once again, what number was that about the open relationship, number seven and shit, because basically agree or disagree for open relationship, when you got it to that to to that degree where it's just like, well, shit, nah, shit nigga, hey, we just going to do this right here, then hell, basically you agree to have an open relationship. You just ain't said it with your own mouth, Tina. You know what I'm saying? No motherfucking way. I don't want no shit like that there because, nigga, shit, I don't want to be coming behind no bitches. You know what I'm saying? I know he don't want to be coming behind no motherfucking niggas. 
you know. But, you know, anyway, I'm tired. I'm getting ready to start rambling. <laughs> okay, uh, number 20. If y'all shit's a secret, nigga, how you gonna be with somebody and this motherfucker's telling you don't tell nobody? Nigga, who you with? Who we running from? So it's gonna be a few things that that nigga got going on, which the top of the line gonna be a wife. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker giving elusive texts, motherfuckers, is, you know, trying not to leave no paper trails and shit. That motherfucker got a wife at home. You know what I'm saying? And she pretty damn sharp. She watching every motherfucking thing. She look at the bank statements and shit online. You know what I'm saying? It's a joint bank account involved. You know what I'm saying? This bitch is subjected to get this nigga's phone while he sleep. He's accustomed to it. You know what I mean? You know, they didn't already put it into their relationship, their marriage or whatever, nigga. Uh, there's no locked phones here. You know, that type of thing. So, you know, them type of niggas is going to treat you accordingly. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to really leave no paper trail. Them niggas is going to be hitting and missing and tipping and dipping in and dipping out. And, nigga, that's some bullshit. I've been there on that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit, nigga. You know you had a motherfucking wife. That's why I shook your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I don't want it on my hands. I'm just saying. I don't want it on my hands. And, and yet and still, you know, motherfuckers will continue to lie to the end. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. You better look at the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? You better look at the motherfucking paperwork. Make sure it had a motherfucking seal date on that motherfucker. A motherfucking stamp. That means that the paper really got filed to the courts and all that old kind of shit. Yeah. It got a little stamp on the right hand side. I know what the documents look like. You know what I'm saying? Judge didn't sign at the bottom. Either he didn't actually sign it or he used a stamp. One or the other. But it's going to be a seal date that you done filed. And there's going to be a signature on the bottom of that motherfucker. You better look at the paperwork. Okay? Um... So, anyway, that was all of our questions, I believe. I think I did all 20. I did. So, again, it's just one woman's opinion. You know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody's relationship is different. Everybody's dynamics are different. You know, just because a motherfucker... It's not about money. Let's be clear on that. It's not about, okay, well... You know, she on some gold digger shit. And, you, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker ain't got no money. She ain't fucking with that nigga. No. Because check this out. I need some tile and shit laid right the fuck right now, nigga. Uh, I need an apprentice in this motherfucker. Huh? Okay, I ain't got no money to do all that right there. But shit, nigga, uh, check this out. I bet I can cut down some trees. I bet I could clean the pool out. Nigga, I bet I could uh, put some fr uh, French doors up. Um, ding, 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 ding. Nigga, I done won. Huh? So, no, it's not all about, you know, what he can do for me, what he can give me, and what all this whole kind of shit like this. Because I am a builder, and I'm a team player as well. So, if he's coming to the game with, okay, well, then I ain't got that, but this is what I got going on. That's how this nigga right here been able to kick it for so long. It's never been about what he had or whatever. It was about his works. This motherfucker right here, yeah, he takes the hanks off of a bitch real quick, like, you know what I'm saying, on things that I don't want to do, or things that I don't have physical strength to do, girls, look, check this out, it's not always about the money, let's be crystal clear on that, you know what I'm saying, and men, women ain't looking at it all about money, women really just want to feel safe, they want to know that you got us, you know what I'm saying, it won't be no nigga on the side if you handle your motherfucking business, if you handle your business, she ain't got time to be looking at no other motherfucking nigga, because it's about you. You know what I mean? So, when when all this shit happened and all this shit occurred, nigga, who you really need to be mad at? You. You know what I'm saying? Because if the trunk was tight, this nigga couldn't get in no motherfucking way. So, then therefore, that's what's happening on that. Okay? Once again, uh, this is just one woman's opinion that's tied. Okay? And uh, I'm going to get up out of this piece, family. You know, I... Shit, I... I'm not going to take me no shower or nothing. What I'm about to do is get naked, though. Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to go ahead on and get naked and call it a motherfucking night. That's what a bitch like me going to do. 